Do you believe in demonic possession? This scary video might convert you. This video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community and shows an apparent possession unfolding before our very eyes. A young man is kneeling on the floor, his eyes rolled into the back of his head. The growling sounds coming from deep within him sound demonic. A couple of men stand above him, apparently trying to exorcise the demon out of him, while others are gathered around. One of the men places his hand on the possessed man's forehead. That's where the video ends. Viewers are left to wonder if this man was freed of the demon within, or if he simply continues to live with this evil plaguing him, but I sincerely hope that's not the case. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Danny is checking out a chapel cemetery that is so haunted. They only feel comfortable approaching by day. They have all been here before, but this time they are disappointed to find that commercial locks are in place and that everything looks to be boarded up. Still, they are determined to get inside and they keep moving along the perimeter, searching for another way in. After a while, the camera person feels watched and makes the mistake of looking up. No. How come you're not getting through them boards, eh? Watching over them is a frowning, pale figure with solid black eyes. I guess this could be one of their friends, but given the new measures taken to keep trespassers out, I don't see how this is possible. You would think that they would run at such a sight, but this encounter only makes them more determined to bust a new way inside, which they eventually do. They soon reach the interior steps and feel watched again. The figure is staring back at them from above once more, perhaps twice as displeased to learn they've gained entrance. This time, they all duck into a room and watch it silently pass. The thing retreats down a long hallway, but when Danny follows, it's the last glimpse any of them get of it before scattering. A spirit pulls a member of the YouTube team, Kaza Sabre Natural, down a staircase in this scary video. Upon first entering the haunted place, they hear something, and they discover a rope tied to a wooden beam overhead. <laughs> Is that a noose? As they continue their search of the place, they hear a voice. They hear something again and start to head upstairs. But they soon wish they wouldn't have. What just dragged this crew member down the stairs? If it is indeed a spirit, I wouldn't be following it downward. It may be leading this team to the fiery depths below. A person thinks they see something strange. Dash in front of their car late at night on a dark road. A playback of the tape has their suspicions confirmed by a totally bizarre dash cam encounter caught on video. A fleeting figure standing under a street lamp runs out and disappears way too fast to be a human. He claims this video is unexplainable paranormal evidence, but I suspect it might simply be a trick of the light, not exactly a lens flare per se, because there is no sunlight to reflect, or maybe that is the right term, but you know what I mean. Basically a ray of light bending towards him to create the illusion of a phantom ghost. So while there is definitely a light anomaly, I'm not exactly sure it's paranormal. Tell me what you think he's caught on tape, because it might be a reflection and nothing more. This YouTuber thinks his room is completely haunted. This is what was caught on video when the camera was left running for only a few minutes. Okay, 
Not exactly five minutes, but I swear to God, I heard something, so I'm gonna watch back the footage. He comes back into the room thinking he heard a noise, but nothing is there. At least nothing that he could see. At 2 minutes and 41 seconds, a fast moving shadow figure is caught on camera. A mysterious outline of a person. I don't think the reflection is his because it moves too quickly. This creepy video is either paranormal or edited, but which? Something about it says real ghost sighting to me. Hey, it's Liam is a British YouTuber doing a 24-hour challenge in a local abandoned sanatorium. He and his friends climb through an open window and waste no time exploring a series of long interconnected hallways for whatever they can find. The floor is covered with scattered papers. It's definitely creepy, but they decide to press on. They venture downstairs and find lots of graffiti on the wall, strange messages like don't listen to the voices, and how long will they keep me down here? It's unclear whether or not these words were written by patients before the facility closed down. Now midnight is fast approaching and Liam hears a noise nearby. They bravely go to investigate as a group, and this is what they find. I don't know. A door that was open moments ago slams in front of them. Then, as they are trying not to panic and decide what to do next, a scream interrupts their thoughts and sends them fleeing. Let me know if you think the scream was real or edited. Ghost hunting YouTube channel in Russia called Dark Ghost Paranormal says they've caught real video evidence of poltergeist activity on camera while exploring an abandoned house that's haunted. After leaving cameras upstairs to record video evidence, Dark Ghost Paranormal goes exploring in the basement to investigate. For any poltergeist activity, the entrance to the basement has been boarded up like somebody really didn't want anyone to get in. Or maybe they were trying to prevent something from getting out. Something paranormal. He gets a creepy feeling down here. The basement looks completely demolished. Stuff thrown everywhere and so he goes back upstairs. Exploring the haunted basement must have set something free because it isn't long before the poltergeist is coming to investigate these ghost hunters. Something scary happens behind him. The voice of a little ghost girl comes from a dresser, one that just so happens to be a child's height and is no doubt possessed by the ghost of one. The ghost hunter examines the area for a little bit, and just when he's about to wrap up the paranormal investigation, the scary poltergeist activity picks up again. This angle gives us a better look at how close the dresser is to the wall, way too close for someone to have been hiding behind it. The heavy object is moving by itself, or from a ghost to be more precise, and so he leaves the abandoned house to further rot. The historical Winchester Mystery House was basically built to be a nightmare. The Queen Anne style Victorian mansion in San Jose, California was the personal residence of heiress Sarah Winchester, who started building it in 1886 and didn't stop until her passing in 1922. Not having a master plan, the enormous mansion features such oddities as secret passageways, staircases to nowhere, and hidden rooms. The home is said to be haunted. Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit by Resident Science 525 this scary video may have captured one of them. The footage shows a short staircase leading up to an exit in the Winchester Mystery House. As the camera pans for a moment, a semi-transparent figure moves past the staircase. The Redditor writes that there are no windows or air vents in the hallway, and no reflective surfaces. So what is this? Or should we say who? 
a group of neighborhood kids from Algeria decide to rush the local haunted house, reasoning that the ghost inside can't get them all. Someone tell me what's going on here. I think they might be nervous and start to pray. <laughs> <laughs> Their words seem to have successfully riled up something as they gather excitedly to see what's behind this wall. <laughs> You'll never believe the weird things they've caught on tape. <laughs> this still image taken at 3 minutes and 56 seconds shows at best the outline of a shadow figure watching them as they leave. This is some of the best paranormal evidence caught on tape that I've seen in a while. The mysterious figure is standing directly under a window, and yet is still covered in darkness. Do you hear that haunting melody? It may be the vocalizations of an actual ghost. <sighs> Posted by Charger3933 to the Ghost subreddit. This clip captures a ghostly song in the abandoned asylum, Eloise Psychiatric Hospital in Michigan, which we've discussed at length in previous Top 15s. Charger notes in the comments that he did not hear the singing during the visit, only afterwards when he listened back to the recording. The Redditor was wandering around the abandoned asylum with a friend when he heard disembodied footsteps coming up the stairs. As he tried to capture the footsteps via a Snapchat video, he heard screaming from a distance. He saved the video and later heard the haunting singing as well. Redditor Wubbelubbadubbadidu in the comments writes, Obviously, we have to take the audio with a grain of salt because it's possible someone was hidden in the building. That being said, I hear the screams and sleep freaky AF. The same Redditor later notes in the thread that the uploader basically caught an EVP. He also remarks that he too hears the footsteps or something moving nearby. The uploader states that he tried to stay as still as possible and that he would also consider this an EVP as he did not hear the singing in real time. Redditor quite fast agrees that the singing sounds like a lullaby. The Redditor tried to isolate the woman's voice and added a clearer clip to the thread. <laughs> The humming voice sounds even spookier with the audio cleared up, and it's quite fast notes. You can almost hear the words safe and sound. Do you feel safe and sound after watching this video? Two friends are fishing when they hear somebody else firing for hunt not too far away. The two don't think much of it and let the man continue his hobby while they continue theirs. They keep casting into the water and everything is going fine for about a minute, and then the two sports collide. Holy! Stop! Hey! Hey! It hit my boat! Look again and you can tell that he doesn't pick his foot up for dramatic effect. It was really that close. When you slow down the video to frame by frame, you can briefly see the round as it bounces off the deck right by his foot. If they had been drifting downriver, even just a little faster, it would have been a direct hit and a trip to the hospital for certain. A mysterious robed figure, an abandoned home, this clip has me on edge. Published by Kisa Weba in April of 2022, and originally published by YouTuber Hisham Al Daimak, this video is trending in the Spanish speaking YouTube community. The footage shows a group of paranormal investigators exploring an abandoned home. As they look toward one room, one of the crew starts shouting. The cameraman turns around and finds this behind him. The robed figure walks slowly away from them, not responding to their repeated calls. It's unclear if this is a paranormal figure who appeared there, a djinn perhaps, or if it's one of their own crew fallen under a trance. Is this a possession or an apparition? Tell me what you think in the comments. 
A YouTuber named Bradinator conducts a risky social experiment to see what would happen if he pretends to be a Russian hitman in public. Bradinator doesn't actually speak Russian, but that doesn't stop him from walking around in a black suit and sunglasses speaking on his phone in a made-up Russian-sounding language. This alone is enough to draw some weird looks, but I think what alarms people the most is the steel briefcase he carries around and repeatedly makes a big deal over. Excuse me, did anybody touch this case? Okay, thank you. He never says it outright, but Bradinator seems to imply that something bad could be inside the briefcase. Maybe even a device ready to blow. Watch this part and tell me what you would have done if you randomly encountered this briefcase laying there. Oh, excuse me, sir. Watch out for the briefcase. Watch out. Uh, don't, nothing. Don't. At one point, he apparently creates enough of a scene for the police to come and give him a stern warning. Listen to this part and tell me if you think it's real. I was just with my friend and gonna film a Russian hit my prank. Right. Come back, I'm gonna take you to jail. Yeah, okay, thank you. The voice of the police officer sounds kind of young, and the radio dispatch sounds like it could be a sound effect. Then again, they do briefly record a police car with its lights on, so maybe they really did get told to knock it off by the cops. What happens when your shop vandals turn out to be paranormal? This security footage was published in April of 2010 by Old Phantom 13. He writes, We had been having problems with people breaking into and vandalizing our shop, or so we thought, so we set up several security cameras. This is what one of our cameras picked up. If you watch closely at the beginning, you'll be able to see what we believe is some type of spirit or ghost. The video shows lockers inside the shop slamming closed, one after another. Then, repeated slamming noises are heard off screen. A wheelchair in the middle of the room rolls slowly from one side to the other. What do you think? Are these ghosts into vandalism? Or is this another video of strings, like some in the comments suggest? It certainly looks convincing when I look at it. This graveyard in Michigan defies the laws of gravity and replaces them with the laws of the paranormal. There is a specific tree at the bottom of a hill that many locals believe is haunted. You can put your car into neutral at the top of the hill and the car will roll down as normal. Here's a quick demonstration. And now as you can see, with my foot off the pedal and the car in neutral, we're rolling downhill. That is what you would expect. But when you pull up to the cursed tree and put your car in neutral, this is what will happen each and every time. We're rolling backwards up the hill. My, my feet, yes, my feet are off the pedal. Car is still in neutral. A strange force appears to be causing this man's car to roll backwards and climb a semi-steep inclination. Not only that, but I think I hear a strange voice in the video too. Listen to this and tell me if you hear someone say something that sounds like the name Sarah. Three friends are driving down some back roads late at night when they've caught something on video that has people questioning what was on the side of the road. What? I don't know. Can see that? Oh my god, what is that? It's a dog, isn't it? Can you hear that growling? The creature looks at them as they question whether or not it's been hit and needs their help. While it goes deeper into the forest, they feel like they should get out of the car and check to see if it's alright. A deep growling sound coming from the woods keeps them from exploring any closer. They are pretty sure this isn't someone's dog, like they thought, but they aren't sure what to do next. That's when the decision is made for them. Run. Is it? It sounds really close. Right, get in the car now, Tom. 
The comments and likes for this video were split 50-50 between believers and skeptics. I might have thought this was real if I watched it just one time, but upon closer analysis, it's pretty obvious this was somebody in a creature costume on their hands and knees. When you look at their feet at 22 seconds, there are no claws and you can tell this is a costume that you step into, or at least that's what I think. Tell me what you make of this bizarre encounter caught on a full moon that night. This live broadcast captures what appears to be an impossible error on camera. Watch the news anchor on the left and see what happens. Here it is again in slow motion in case you missed it. Everything from a hologram to an alien has been proposed, but I guess it could be some kind of camera malfunction. Maybe someone who knows more about cameras can let me know if this is a technical malfunction or not. A YouTube channel called The Vegas Life explores Fort Fremont in Buford, South Carolina with nothing more than a spirit box and a camera. It's all they need for one of the scariest moments of their life. One small green room in particular makes them nervous. They feel watched and their camera picks up breathing noises from inside that they don't hear at the time. I don't mess with no cars. Something about this hidden room leaves them stuttering and covered in sweat. I feel like I'm getting kind of chills a little bit. It's weird, like a body tingle, tingling body. I'm not like a, I don't know, it feels weird. That sounds like the description of a haunted place to me, and soon they record an EVP to confirm it. Spirit. Spirit. This next EVP doesn't even sound like it comes from the spirit box. It sounds like it's coming from behind her. Did it just say Megan? Yes! Oh my god. Oh, okay. That's good enough for me. Alright. Got full freaking body chills right now. Scary voices whispering her name is all Megan can take, and the investigation is over soon afterwards. Their experience kind of reminds me of another scary exploration video taken in Washington at Fort Casey fun years ago. A group of students are exploring this abandoned building when they get a really bad feeling and turn around, but before they do, one of them manages to catch this creepy shadow figure standing in the hall. The hall is empty one second, and then a figure is standing there that clearly doesn't belong. It has a short, squat body with skinny legs and possibly hooves. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, after watching these two videos, it's probably best not to explore any abandoned forts in the woods unless you want to find something that's beyond creepy. A YouTuber named Sweet Dreams is shooting off Roman candles in celebration of the 4th of July when a shrill scream pierces the night air. Did you hear that? Yeah, you go first. It's they track the noise for well over a minute until it becomes louder and more distinct. At the end of a short journey, standing a very close distance away, they discover the shrieking source hunched over and alone. What is that? Dude, what is that? He slowly backs away from the bent over grey humanoid and then goes into an all out run. The creature gives chase and Sweet Dreams turns around to find it swiping at him through the air. I can't tell if this is an actual humanoid or just one of their friends with makeup on, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. All of the other videos on his channel are just him playing video games, nothing else like this one. This YouTuber isn't sure if deep web mystery boxes are real or not, so he buys as many of them as he can as an experiment of sorts. Sure enough, some of them don't have anything weird inside at all, while others look as though they were packaged by a complete psycho. Take this dirty stuffed animal that's been stuffed with even dirtier stuffed animals for instance. In the very last one is a pill container, presumably for smuggling purposes. The creepiest package of all is full of abused dolls. It looks like it was made by someone with serious problems. You can see how they cut off the doll's fingers one by one here. Then they made this children's pop-up book filled with occult symbiology. 
Au. Da. Ah, no, no. Then they are about to throw the whole box away when suddenly a yellow Teletubby doll with a burnt face grabs their attention. Listen to the sound it makes and tell me how this noise is even possible. At this point, he's seen enough and decides not to open any more boxes. The only problem is at least several more are heading to his address in the mail. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.